The River Seine flows through the heart of Paris, but it also acts as an overflow for the city's sewage system. We analyzed water samples to see just how dirty it is, as Olympic athletes are set to dive in just a few months from now. The city's racing to clean it up, but there is no plan B. We will not have another plan. The Wall Street Journal went inside the $1.5 billion engineering scramble to see if it's even possible to sanitize it in time. And the River Seine becomes a seething mess of splashing arms and kicking legs. Swimming has been banned in the River Seine for over a hundred years, and the city's combined sewage system has been polluting it for centuries. That's because its wastewater and rainwater flow into the same drainage pipes. During heavy rains, it can overflow into the river. Central to the city's operation to try and stop that is this vast underground tank. The aim is to store the excess fluid so it can't flow into the waterway. So here's how it will work. The basin is located here. This tunnel will connect it to the sewage network and gravity will move wastewater into the tank during heavy rains. There, the liquid will be held until it can be re-released to a processing center. I used to say we are building two cathedrals in, in, in Paris at the moment, one under the surface and one above. Of course, I'm, I'm even more focused on the one under. It's important to remove the wastewater as it can cause infections to humans. The limit for how much is considered safe for swimming varies. The World Triathlon Organization, which is the Olympic standard, has an upper limit of 1,000 E. coli per 100 milliliters. So how does the Seine River compare on this scale right now? The water testing company Fluidian takes independent measurements of the waterway. In late February, they took samples from where the Olympic triathlon will be held. I'm making sure I remove all the bubbles from here. Dan Angelesco is the company's CEO. He invited us to the lab to see the results. So we are going to be able to look at it under UV light and understand in which wells we have E. coli presence. The wells that are light in color contain E. coli. The company analyzed six different samples to reach its final result. We measured uh, around 20,000 E. coli per 100 ml, which is a significant amount of bacteria in the river. That's 20 times the triathlon safety standard for swimming. If people are bathing in this water, that could be very unhealthy. Both the rain and the current contributed to the high result. In the summer, hot weather can help bring down that number. Un élément majeur, c'est le niveau d'ensoleillement, que ce soit le fait qu'il fasse beau et la durée de l'ensoleillement, parce que les UV tuent les bactéries. The Seine has reached lows of hundreds of E. coli per 100 milliliter in hotter months, according to Fluidian. But organizers can't control the weather. After heavy rainstorms, bacteria can spike again in just a few hours. City officials say they may have to delay swimming events by a few days, depending on the water quality. That's why completing this tank is vital to controlling the pollution. If the work is not completed in time, then probably we'll see similar, similar water quality uh, effects as in the past years, where larger storms generate relatively big pollution events, which may take a few days to clean up. City of Paris officials say it will be able to hold 13 million gallons, that's enough to fill 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. A 50,000 uh, meter square of capacity. Uh, we are, will be able to manage the rainwaters coming in the sewers. Workers at the site are still racing to finalize it. Officials say it will be put into service in May. That's just months before the Olympic triathlon is set to take place. I would like to emphasize that it's still a lot of work for, for the teams here to, to make sure that it's ready on our on time. In addition to this, uh, the concrete here, uh, there is also a lot of machinery to be, to be added. Other disinfection methods are also being implemented. The city is trying to fix houseboats and houses with illicit sewage connections to stop them polluting directly into the waterway. Following the games, the longer-term plan is for citizens to be able to swim in the Seine by next summer. And some very high-profile residents have agreed to jump right in. For now, the biggest race of the Olympics is to make the Seine swimmable.